hey guys, I'm going to be talking about dimensions today and specifically targeting the aligned dimension tool, which I use most of the time. If I go to the annotate tab, dimension panel, click on the aligned dimension, I get some choices in the option bar. If I click on the drop down arrow, there are four choices and which one to choose depends on what part of the wall I want to place my dimension on. If I select wall center lines, zoom in, it's targeting the center of the entire wall thickness and nothing else. But then again, if I hover over the wall face and press tap button, I can select the wall face as well. If I go back and choose wall faces, I can select the faces of the wall without pressing the tab button. As well as that, it allows me to select the center of the inside wall thickness. If I go back and choose center of core, it's targeting the center of the core. If I press escape a couple of times, select the wall, go to properties, edit type, edit, and here in the layers table, I can see that my core is 152 millimeters thick. If I press the preview button, I can see the structure of my wall graphically. And here is my 152 millimeters thick core. If I click cancel, click cancel again, go to the annotate tab, dimension panel, click on the aligned dimension, select sensor of core again. It's targeting the sensor of 152 millimeters thick core and nothing else. If I go back and choose faces of core, as you may have guessed, it allows me to select the faces of the core. As well as that, I can select the sensor of the core and wall faces. Again, pressing the type of button can bring you pretty much to all of those options, so play around with it. It's time to place some dimensions. If I go to the annotate tab, dimension panel, click on the aligned dimension. If I click on this drop down arrow, let's say I'm happy with the wall faces. If I click on this drop down arrow, I have a choice whether to choose individual references or entire walls. Let's explore individual references first, which allows to pick walls one by one. If I select the exterior wall face, and let's say now I want to target the center lines of the internal walls, I can still select the center of the internal wall being in the wall faces option. But let's say I don't want to have all these distractions with the wall faces. What I can do is click on this drop down arrow and change it to wall sensor lines and keep placing my dimensions just like so click it press escape a couple of times and let's say I noticed that this one here needs to be on the outside what I can do is select the string click on this drop down arrow change it to wall faces and drag this view grip to the exterior wall face just like so press escape a couple of times the other option would be select the string and keep clicking on this blue grip until i am at the right spot just like so press escape a couple of times again if i go to the annotate tab dimension panel click on the aligned dimension Let's say I want to choose wall center lines. If I place my dimension, click it, press escape a couple of times. And I can see it was a mistake. I should have chosen the wall faces as I want to have this one to be on the outside and this one to be on the outside. So what I can do is select the dimension, click on this drop down arrow change it to wall faces and drag this blue grip to the exterior wall face. Press escape a couple of times. And the other option would be select the dimension and keep clicking on this blue grip until I am at the right spot. 
press escape a couple of times. Let's explore inside a box option. If I go to the annotate tab, dimension panel, click on the align the dimension. Let's say I'm happy with both center lines. If I click on this drop down arrow and now choose entire walls, I get an extra options bar. If I click on it and let's deselect everything and click OK. If I select the wall, click it, press escape a couple of times. With just one click, I got the dimension that indicates the size of the entire wall. If I press Ctrl Z to undo it and go back go to options and let's tick openings and choose sensors for now click ok and here i have two openings two doors and two windows i can also see them here in the 3d view if i select the wall click it select the wall click it select the wall click it press escape a couple of times I go to the dimension strings that include the openings, doors and windows and it indicates the centers. If I select the strings and press delete, go back, go to options and let's choose with now, click OK, select the wall, click it, select the wall, click it, select the wall, click it, press escape a couple of times. This time, uh, the dimension strings include openings, doors, windows, but it indicates their widths instead. Again, if I select the strings, press delete, go back, go to options, and let's take intersecting walls for now. Click OK, select the wall, click it, press escape a couple of times. With one click, I got the dimension string that includes the walls that intersects with the wall I selected, and it indicates the center lines. If I go back, go to options, and let's untick intersecting walls and tick intersecting grids. Click OK, select the wall, click it, press escape a couple of times. This time the dimension string includes the grid that intersects with the wall I selected. If I select the string and press delete, go back, go to options, and let's take both intersecting grids and intersecting walls. Click OK, select the wall, click it, press escape a couple of times. This time the dimension string includes both the walls and grids that intersect with the wall I selected. Also, if I select this dimension string, I notice there is this EQ sign. If I click on it, my walls are now spread equidistantly. But what if I don't want to see this EQ signs? What I can do is hover over it, right click, and uncheck this EQ display. Press escape a couple of times. Now I can see the numbers instead. Thank you for your attention and please subscribe to my channel.